Hey, Fix and Parlay family, it's me, Detroit Lenny here, with a free CFL pick for you guys for Saturday, July 1st. And to talk a little CFL, we're going to bring in Nick Earl from Earl Sports Bets. How are we doing, Mr. Earl? How's it going? What's happening? Uh, it's going. Uh, CFL, not off to the greatest of starts. It's been very okay. tricky so far, but um, we're looking at uh, a week that I feel pretty good about this card. So we'll, we'll look at this game for Saturday. Yeah, let's talk about this. Winnipeg Blue Bombers minus an even six at the Montreal Alouettes. Over under is a pretty high, in my opinion, 48 and a half. Now, I'm, not, I'm not saying over or the under, but it's, for CFL, that's a high number. Uh, talk to me a little bit about this. Where are we going with this one? Yeah, uh, looking at this matchup here, this one I had circled after last week's game for Winnipeg. Uh, Winnipeg last week went, uh, they, were in, uh, they were at home, they played BC, and they got beat. 30 to six against the BC lions. That offense was stagnant against a, we're going to say the best defense in the CFL right now in the, in the uh, BC lions. And after that performance at home, I expect the two time, uh, two out of three defi time defending Grey cup champion, three time uh, Western conference champion to step up in this game and take care of business and get back to what they were doing pr uh, the prior weeks that where they put up 42 and 45 points. This total may look high, but Winnipeg may hit this total by themselves in this game. I wouldn't go that far, but I do expect a 35, 40 perform point performance from the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Jack Kalaros and that offense to get clicking again. Again, it's definitely a step down in competition. Now, Montreal has started off the season well. I will say that uh, they, they they are 2-0 and to start the year uh, as they did beat uh, Hamilton last week and they beat the red blacks the week before uh two teams that are not particularly great both of them are uh have yet to win a game the red blacks or the tiger cats so i do think this is a major step up in con competition for the alouettes it's a step down for the blue bombers and it's a smash spot i think for the blue bombers here i also like their team total over i got it at 26 and a half and i like the full game over here as well uh, but we're going to go with the bombers here and a bounce back performance to win this game by double digits here i like the minus six I was just going to say, I'm already on the Blue Bombers double digit win here, in my opinion. I think uh, total bounce back spot. Uh, you hit the nail on the head with everything you just said. I'm on it. We're going to roll Winnipeg Blue Bombers minus the six. Until then, though, uh, tell us what you got going on over at picksandparlays.net. Yeah, we got the MLB season rolling. Uh, we got CFL and WNBA as well. Uh, and we're, what, a month out from college football? A little bit more than a yeah. month out from college football. I was trying to cap that a little bit. Got a couple teams I kind of circled that I want to sprinkle some futures on uh, to win their conference. I'm kind of looking at the uh, the Tar Heels of UNC and the Cowboys of Wyoming to win the Mountain West and the ACC. Uh, those are just a couple of things I was looking at. But college football right around the corner, uh, about a little over a month. I love it. I love it. Don't forget when you're over at picksandparlays.net, you're looking for Nick and Tim from Earl Sports Bet's premium plays. Use the promo code MLB. That will save you 20% off of the entire website over there. Till then, we're going to roll with the Blue Bobbers minus the six. Vacation mode activated, everybody. Good luck unless you're against me. I'm Detroit Lenny with Picks and Parlays. Nick Earl, Earl Sports Bets. Peace out.